On the 15th of November, Russia launched mass missile attack on Ukrainian territory. 100 missiles. They were targeting energy facilities and, as you obviously see, they succeeded. It's complete darkness. But let me start from the beginning. Hello guys, in this video I just wanted to talk casually with you. It's Jane from Ukraine here and I want to tell you about a last missile attack that was done by Russian on Lviv. Guys, at the 15th of November I was just upset about absence of central heating in my apartment and the fact that my water in the crown was not too hot enough to take a good warm shower. It's small update from Lviv, Ukraine. It is 15th of November and temperature outside is plus 5 degrees above zero and in our block of flats, I'm living in this block of flats, there is still no any heating uh, provided by the government because we have a central heating. And today we were cut off from warm water, from hot water, because they have some breakdown and they doing some repairment. So could I imagine that only five hours later I will be dream to be in such conditions like in the morning. But only three hours ago we ended up in this shelter, in this bunker, together with this cutie. This is the cat of our neighbors and all children and people playing with him in the shelter and we were not so afraid because we had a pet with us. Guys, for first hour city in the, in the shelter we had electricity, but after some time it was cut off. And uh, the total amount of time spending in the shelter was three hours, guys. And after air alert was finished. However, I was surprised when air alert was still on, municipal services casually cleaned the garbage in our block of flats yard. <laughs> Guys, it was so funny. It was funny if it was not so sad. Air alert was not cancelled and they just casually cleaning. After successful missile attack, power and electricity was cut off in all building and we were keeping to sitting in the darkness in the shelter. Guys, after the air alert we had power outrage for 5 hours and when electricity was finally on we were so happy that this finally over and you know celebrating. However, we couldn't imagine that it was only beginning of the issue. On next day I woke up at 9 o'clock in the morning and realized that we have no electricity. And power outrage was until 2 p.m. in the evening. I said, okay, it's completely understandable. Our government is taking measure to decrease power, you know, overloading and we should survive it. However, what happens on 17th of November? It was behind my understanding. First, temperature was dropped till the minus and we had only cold freezing running water. You see, I'm washing the dishes and I can feel my hands actually. And Ilya is unpacking the parcels with the wooden socks. On 17th of November, situation became worse because outside it was minus 2 and we had no electricity for 7 long hours in the row. And if you have no electricity, it means you have no central heating, have no any hot water and of course electricity to warm up apartment with some heater that works from electricity. These flashlights is my best investment, like top 5 for winter, because it gives me hands free. 
was busy. People were completely shocked and exhausted because they have kids, they have relatives, elder relatives with certain medical condition, and they extremely needed to warm up the apartment. Me and my husband were trying to warm up the apartment with our guest stove. Thanks God we had a guest there. However, later I have searched in the internet that this method of heating was completely dangerous because it could cause explosion or, you know, some damage for our body and we could die, actually. I will survive. I definitely will survive. However, Russia will stay in the darkness forever. <sighs> How hard I could be. A situation become worse uh, because at the night temperature decreased a lot and it was very very cold in the apartment. We were continued to warm up with the gas. It was dangerous but what can we do do you remember i have bought a lot of warm winter clothing like touristic trekking clothing layered clothing it really saved my body because in the best case scenario we could caught a cold easily because temperature was about i don't know maybe 13 <laughs> degrees in the apartment so yes i have put all my warm clothing and um, it helped me and currently guys light is so shitty on my video because now i have these hours of rolling like out there is no electricity in my apartment and this is why i'm standing in front of the window to make my video more sufficient so it could be better for you <laughs> to just see it and it's okay for me to have electricity for hours on and for hours off and i am praying that these hours without electricity could not be increased guys because it's really hard because the temperature outside is below zero And you obviously see that first snow caused some issues among the drivers. And truthfully saying guys, 17th of November was very hard and very tough day for my mental system, my mental capacities. Because if you remember, I have told you that I have some conditions of anxiety and depression episodes. And sometimes I have such months when I had to take my pills to keep my serotonin in normal way and producing to help my body a little bit. You know, and when I was sitting 11 hours without electricity, I had some crazy thoughts in my head. It was completely crazy. I was so emotional. I was crying uh, because guys because guys i know there are a lot of people in ukraine who are feeling worse than i do however mental capacities and mental health is individual for every person and i had this crazy thought to take more pills that i used to take so uh, I'm sorry for saying this and it was emotional and it was sporadically in my head and after five minutes of thinking about this I said to myself Jane come on what are you doing you're crazy please calm down everything is will be okay and now I'm better well thank you for watching this video till the very end I'm sorry for my technical condition and my lighting of this video but this is my true story if you want to see and listen more of such content uh, truthful stories what happens with Ukrainians right now you can subscribe of my channel and put thumbs up to this video to help YouTube algorithms to show this video to another folks who are interested in Ukraine topic 
So thank you for watching and God be with you. Please pray for Ukrainians. It really helps.